I'm imitating the movie Blair Witch. I'm laying down in my tent. They did something to me. I couldn't really move. I just passed out. I didn't go to sleep. I just laid down. I I really can't move. They were mad because I moved out of the house, so when I went back in there, they must have did something to me. But I'm recovering. I'm very tired and weak. Can barely move. I made my dinner. Hey, look. It's Maya. Hey, Maya. This is my new cat. They killed my old cat. Well, this wasn't really my cat. It was, well, the witches brought the cat here. My fake mother. She's not really my mother. She's a witch now. She's a demon. A, a, a zombie. Nothing is left with her. Nothing, of, nothing is left of her. She's totally a zombie. Every word she speaks is a word of another person. Well, a, a, a demon. A dead slave. A brownie. A mfufu. What the fuck they call them? Ugly looking motherfuckers. So listen, right? So when my cat died, they brought this cat in. But they thought the cat was going to listen to them. But something went wrong. As soon as they start walking around the cat, the cat ran and jumped in the ceiling and tied the, the, the ceiling and wouldn't come out. Every time they try to touch the cat, the cat run. The cat won't even leave the basement. It will not leave the basement. Period. They talking to the cat. They telling the cat to do shit, but the cat not listening. The giants is talking to the cat. They trying to talk to the cat. Reptilians talking to the cat. <laughs> but what's really going on is, for some reason, the cat's starting to look like my old cat, Poopers. My third eye. So I don't... I think my, my Poopers is using te telepathy to some degree. I don't know how extent it is. I just think her will... I think that the cat race, the hominoids, my children, they can just will it from cats. So they brought another cat in, right? This cat is retarded. This cat is all black and shit, you know, just like they are. You know what I'm saying? And the two days in a row, the cat jumped on the counter inside the water where my chicken wings was being cleansed inside they underwater baking soda and apple cider vinegar the cat jumped inside the water and ate the chicken twice raw I never seen a cat do that especially when it got food so that's how you they trying to see if the cat will listen to it but eventually that cat won't listen to it either they, they not gonna have no dominion over cats Especially not when that big ass spaceship is over top of my head and shit. There was a homeless person, coincidentally, that's right outside my door, actually, in his plaza, and he's white. Obviously, he's come. He's from the Giants. He, a giant is talking to him and controlling him. And you know, homeless people know how to put tents together. Cause I did not know how to do this shit. I. I didn't know how. I opened this shit. I'm looking at it. What the fuck is that? How the fuck do you put this shit together? I didn't know. So I asked him over here and I paid him $20 to help me put the tent together. And as he was doing that, it dawned on me that I could just go online and see how to put it on. On YouTube. But it doesn't matter. I just rather get it done. And they was about to try to make it rain. While we was doing it, as soon as I bought the tent, they took the sun away and made it cloudy and was about to make it rain. Come here, Maya. Maya. 
Can y'all see her? No. Probably can't. Maya! You see her in the daytime. So, they didn't understand what was going on with the cat. So, they went out and got another cat and said, you got to get rid of this cat. And start making up all these lies. And, you know, I don't talk to demons. I don't respond. Because I know you retarded. And I know that you're not my mom, but I don't talk to you. I literally don't say nothing. She be talking, I don't say anything. I don't. I just walk the other way. As soon as she start talking, I just start walking away. Because she a zombie. They all are zombies. So they killed my last cat by giving it cancer. By giving her cancer, right? My, I left... When I went to Los Angeles, when I went to one of the, I went on my hiatus, all those travels, when I got back, my cat was skinny as shit, like a crackhead, and she died, and she was healthy as shit, because I was feeding her flax seeds and her food every day before I left for years, and I was giving her baking soda water. You can give your cat baking soda water. They won't know the difference. So she was the healthiest cat in the universe, healthiest cat on earth, and she still died. And then they said it was justice. I said, well, those, my cat poopers had to die. She wanted to die so she could be who she is in the future. It was an honorable death. Who don't want to die for God? Like, you won't get rewarded. And she got her own planet. And technology and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even move out this motherfucker. Because my head is throbbing. Releasing energy. Negative energy. I'm just really tired. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers throwing everything out the kitchen sink at me. Everything. Trying to dump everything into my body. Just to try to get me to come, man. These I've never seen. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. I'm pretty sure in the past, and when I did this in Egypt and all that shit, of course. Because ain't nothing new. Microwaves ain't new. Heaters not new. Fans not new. Air conditioning not new. None of this shit new. Cars, all that shit was here before. All of it. So I took the cat out the house and put it in his tent because they was about to kill it. Like, I'm not stupid. They do the same shit over and over again. As soon as the season changed, they did. They trying to do everything they did from the summertime last summer. But I'm not John Wallace no more. So it's, I don't understand this shit no more. I just really don't get it. So I'm not going to let them kill the cat. First, they was trying to play me, trying to test me. Say, well, Dan, do he care about this cat before we kill it? Because we're not going to kill it if he don't care about it. We're only going to try to kill it to try to hurt his feelings. So, and before I left, right? Before I left for my trips with my cat, my old cat, Poopers, that's coming down here to eat y'all, I heard a voice. I swear to God. You don't understand what it's like to be this type of psychic. You don't, you will have no... You have no idea what I what I'm experiencing. I I I can tell you, but you still won't really understand. I literally heard my fucking cat talk to a real voice, say, "Take me with you." What the fuck? I heard her say it. Take me with you. How the fuck I'm gonna take you on? I'm going on Greyhound and shit, airplanes and all that shit. I can't take you with me. I wasn't supposed to. When I got back, she died. They killed her, actually. Did you know I laid right next to her when she was dying? My cat was sitting there, and I heard another voice say, comfort her. So, I laid her down. She couldn't move. Her leg, her, Both her legs went out on her. She couldn't move no more. So, she was crawling with her two legs, with her two front uh, paws, right? So, then she just couldn't move. But she was still moving. I'm still trying to feed her. She looking at the food and turning and shaking her head like a human. You know what I'm saying? I can see shit with my third eye. 
So I just lay next to her while she was laying there, like just like shaking and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just laid there and I held her and she died. And then when that was happening, right, I I felt a signal like a like a extreme depression. But see, I know that them joints be fake. See, when y'all feel like say when a family member die, you feel this you feel like you about to die if your family member died. And you can't and you just some people it it drives them crazy. But see, I understand, just like I'm telling y'all to understand, it's not real. You have to ignore that shit. You got to ignore it. You have to ignore it. It is not real. Listen, they walked a little child by me in a market yesterday and had two packets of cherries right there saying, and it was a bean pie walking next to me with these two little babies, two little girls, like one, two, one years old. And it was the what they was trying to say was, can you give mercy, save these two, and I'll give you these cherries. Like I'm a like I'm a crackhead or something. Like that's enough sufficient payment. But because you know, you could get crazy on this joint. And you really will get confused if you don't really have nobody guiding you. So then later on that night, which was last night, I was in the parking lot, as I was forced in that parking lot. I took a look at the Burlington Coke Factory sign. It says, it's pointing at it, too, with an arrow. I can show you. I can show you in this joint. I'll show you later. I don't feel like getting up. It say, ladies, men, women, kids. And then next to it, it say the word home and goat, meaning Every woman, man, and child, and everybody that live in the Wallace family all got to go. From the goat. It's a coat. That's goat. But it didn't mean that to me. I didn't notice that it said that or it meant that until yesterday when somebody asked me to spare the young bucks. And that's all. How you going to give me two packs of cherries for two lives Like I'm a crackhead or something What the fuck is wrong with you man That's not enough payment for me It's not enough payment 